Very good evening to you all. It's lovely to be here amongst students again because I miss it. I, the best course I've ever done in my life was Paul Neller's course. It was a bridging course to see if I could still learn having been out of school for 32 years. And uh, I really enjoyed that course. Sonics, all sorts of stuff. Weather forecasting, <laughs> really good. Oh, and uh, sewage works. I must forget that. Anyway, yes, I've, I've retired officially because I'm now 67, growing on 68. Uh, but I am probably busier than ever. Uh, nationally, uh, I've been involved in a huge amount of things. Uh, people like Sebastian Payne, who's the chief scientist for English Heritage, a good mate of mine, because I do a lot of talking to him and uh, various other characters uh, in archaeology. Archaeology, very big discipline, and I couldn't cope, hope to cover it all. But um, there's two words, none of you got, no oh yes, you have got notebooks. I'm really impressed with those that got notebooks. Two words, confidence and enthusiasm. It's already been spoken tonight by previous speakers, but that is two items that you need when you're going out into the big world. Uh, I don't think you should be sort of um, pragmatic or evil about this, but be confident, certainly. Bournemouth University has actually got national acclaim. Uh, I do travel about the country, and it is not the top university, but you have not done badly coming here. Because if you go for a job in York, or somewhere like that, they will say, where did you go to university, or where did you go to college? You say, this place, you'll be streets ahead. I'm, I'm promising you that. It's, it's a very good, well thought of university. Uh, I know at the moment, uh, you must be right in the middle of it. If, if uh, I recall, recall rightly, right now I was getting my um, dissertation ends done and not looking forward to final exams, I know. So you're a pretty busy situation at the moment, but you are going to have to sort yourselves out when you've got that all behind you yet yeah, go partying enjoy yourselves go under the pier and have a good night all the rest of it but you've got to start thinking ahead some of you will be continuing in education uh, some of you will probably um, have chosen to uh, reroute yourselves if you like uh, become policemen uh, or a hotel manager or something like that. But all of you lot that are going to be archaeologists or involved in the historic environment, um, I would just say, think about what you're going to do. Uh, you won't get a magic choice to start with, but once you get out there, you'll be able to hunt around and find something that's right up your street. It might be genetics, it might be uh, maritime. Got any maritimes here? No, they're all in the water. But ma mar maritime, in actual fact, are doing quite well at the moment. It's the most fluid uh, part of archaeology. <laughs> it's uh, doing all right. Forensics, yes, okay, but it's getting a bit overcrowded, so you've got to be really good. Um, my message. Get involved, okay? That's the most important thing. Get the most out of uh, what you're going to do. Uh, make yourselves known. Keep on top of the latest news. Uh, internet, yeah, okay, but become a member of CBA. Get British archaeology, all that sort of stuff. If you want to know anything about that sort of thing later on, I was Wessex secretary for six years and I've just recently given it up to Professor Hinton, who's at uh, University of Southampton, where he's having a work. Uh, but if you've got any questions, see me afterwards. Um, I could go on for hours because archaeology is a big thing, but anything particular you want to know, see me afterwards. I'll hang around later, okay?